Starting in 2005, the U.S. went almost 12 years without a major hurricane. It was like the Atlantic Ocean was broken, like it could no longer produce powerful storms. But then, the luck ran out, the historic dry streak ended, and the major hurricanes came roaring back to the U.S., starting right here in Rockport. On August 25th, 2017, ferocious Hurricane Harvey came roaring in off the Gulf of Mexico. This Category 4 smashed Rockport and nearby towns with estimated winds of 130 miles an hour. Jatin Bakta manages the Fairfield Inn on the north side of town. Rather than evacuate, he decided to stay. As that night progressed, you know, we got like just, just bad news after bad news. It's like, oh, it's gone to a two, it's gone to a three, and of course the fourth. And then when we looked out the window, you saw, you know, pretty bad winds, but they were like, this is nothing. Wait till, you know, the eye comes on. And guess what? I was here in this hotel too, and it was a night of terror. Okay, they're making everyone go down to the first floor because there's starting to be structural damage to the building. There's uh, cracks in the walls forming, the, the building swaying. At the height of the storm, violent inner eyewall mesovortices nailed the building, tearing off walls and penetrating this safe haven. During the calm eye, frightened guests packed up and fled to a nearby school to ride out the second half of the storm. The building is having structural damage. Uh, the stairway is separating from the rest of the hotel, and uh, they made us all come downstairs into the lobby, and people are very concerned. The wind damage across the area, especially from Port Aransas to Holiday Beach, was extreme. Smashed houses, ruined businesses, downed trees, trucks thrown around like toys. Mayor Tim Jaro remembers those times. Well, I was chief uh, in 2017 when the storm came. In fact, that was the first and only hurricane that we had that came to our city in the time that I was police chief. So I was in my office, uh, slept in my office that night and, and have told people I could feel the walls move as the, as the pressure changed outside. Many residents were left in dire straits. Local businesswoman Samantha McCrary set up a relief camp in town to provide food, donations, and supplies. So as we're driving along, we're, we start to see things that are not where they're supposed to be, like a refrigerator in the middle of a field a long way from any houses. And then there were, of course, dead animals. And uh, so we're just driving through Holiday Beach. And it was just so otherworldly. And none of us realized we were crying. I put a thing out on Facebook that said, hey, I'm going back to Rockport tomorrow, which would have been Monday. Um, and I'm gonna try to feed the relief workers and all that for a few days, you know, just to help with that. So people just started sending donations. The next day we had a 16 foot trailer, like a flatbed trailer. You could not have put one more case of water or a box of macaroni and cheese or anything else on it. After mangling the coastal bend, Harvey moved on to cause catastrophic flooding in Metro Houston. But almost six years later, Rockport is a town reborn. Many of the houses are rebuilt. The businesses are fixed up and remodeled. The comeback from our city, the way that we have come back and things are looking nice as they ever were or better, is thanks to the people that live here and the help from a whole lot of people that don't. There's a new cultural center. In fact, there's building happening everywhere. And a bridge just reopened. In fact, one nearby resident said to me that Rockport is better now than it was before the hurricane. And they're ready for the next one too. The people that live here have seen what happens when there's a storm. And sometimes you have to see that. I mean, it, it's never a good thing to go through a storm. I'm, I hate that I had to do that. But on the other hand, it, if another one comes, we can sit and tell people what are going to be the consequences if you stay. And there's nothing good can happen if you stay. After a 12-year lull, we'd all forgotten what an extreme hurricane was like. Then they returned to the U.S with a vengeance. Harvey was just the first in a string of tragic American hurricane impacts over the coming years. Lesson learned, hurricane activity is extremely variable, so never let your guard down. They might go away, but they always come back.
This is Josh Morgerman with Weather Nation TV in Rockport, Texas.